Hey guys, welcome back to another iOS development tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys um, how you can use Xcode to actually develop for different languages. And um, I wouldn't recommend doing this actually because Xcode is only meant for Swift, Objective C, and then the C uh, family of languages. Anything else, then it will actually be quite tricky. And um, I have an example Python program over here. So if I double click on it, you'll see Xcode opens and I think we can actually like use Xcode to edit it, we just can't run it, which is kind of annoying, but if you're one of those people who don't like run your code for like hours, then this could actually work, and I prefer using Xcode rather than um, IDLE, because it's just a lot easier. So you can see, if I create a function in Python using def um, hello world, and then I, I do this. Uh, you can see, we do, there are like, it does see the keywords and it's like got print and yeah, but it's just not very like advanced. So you can use uh, Xcode to do any sort of um, program or uh, language. It's just, it won't be very sort of, uh, what's the word, like welcoming? That's not really the right word. It just won't be very sophisticated and you're much better just using like Visual Studio Code or something like that. So yeah. Um, I'm just making this video to show you guys that you can actually use different languages in Xcode. It's not only Swift and Objective-C. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!